This is the Avenger 720 from iJoy, the AI kit. It's got voice command on it, it's got flashy lights on it, it's all singing, all dancing, twin 2700 battery device. Let's jump down, see what came in the box, put it together, and we'll try out some of the functions on it. So here is the box that the Avenger comes in. And you see it's got a nice sort of galaxy effect on it. It is a heavy box. It does feel quite heavy in the hand. Uh, at the side there you've got your scratch and check security code and also the color options that are available. You can see it's a mirror rainbow one I've got here. Uh, on the back you've got the contents of the box. Feel free, free to pause this if you want to read through that stuff. On the side it just says iJoy. Uh, so it is quite a nice little box. It's a slide out box and inside we've got the sort of mock wood thick cardboard effect for the box now i'm not sure if the lid should be attached or not mine wasn't when i got it so not the end of the world there and here we go that's the avenger kit and the tank as they come in this nice sort of foam foam to help hold them in place but we'll take a look at what else comes first so underneath you've got your user guide now the user guide is just for the device it doesn't say anything about the tank in it uh, so that's your user guide and you've also got a warranty information there as well now this kit that i got came with the 2700 so i got two 2700s with it uh obviously i've had them out already so this is why the box is a little uh torn there but you can see it's the standard 2700s that i joy have been selling for a while you also get the 18650 adapter sleeve so you can pop your 18650s in put them in the sleeve and pop them in the device i have tried that out and it does work fine uh you also get a little bag of goodies so you've got a vape band you've got a 510 drip tip adapter and you've got a couple of red o-rings there as well uh straight glass as well you've got this as an option uh does drop the juice capacity down to 3.5 mil USB cable for charging and firmware updates, and then you've got a spare coil. Now this is open because I have used this coil. I've tested it out. You can see it's got a bit of discoloration from where I've used it. And this is the X3C1S coil, which means it has the wood pulp in it. So it's got the wood pulp through the cotton, uh, which is provided better with wicking. Now I haven't tried the standard coil, so I can't do a comparison on that, but it is a very nice coil. So here's the Avenger tank, and at the top here we've got iJoy Bottom Avenger, and it's a proprietary drip tip that they've got in there, but they did provide a 510 adapter if you want to use your own 510 drip tip with this. At the bottom we've got a protruding 510 pin, and it says designed by iJoy the Avenger tank, and all your usual info that you get on the bottom there. It's bottom airflow on this tank, adjustable one direction, back the other, it does lock at each end, and it's dual airflow, so whatever you do on one side will do happen on the other. It's a top fill tank, so you just unscrew the top, and there we go. You can see it's got these nice big refill kidney shaped holes, nice and easy to fill this tank up. So if we unscrew the AFC section, and the coil will come as well, and we can take a quick look at the AFC section and the coil, so at the bottom there, nice clean connections down there and this is the mesh coil that comes pre-installed with the device i have used this coil as well it's not as discolored as the other but uh put it back in for the purpose of the review it's the x3 mesh coil uh these are available to purchase in the uk now they weren't at the time i actually ordered this device so i haven't got any spares of these coils as yet uh so it's the bubble glass that comes installed the bubble glass if you want to change it over to the straight glass it's just a quick pop out it's just held on there by the o-ring uh, and obviously if you take it all together then that's gonna be fine so we're just gonna prime this coil up although I have used this coil before uh, it's always a good practice to prime your coil so the juice I'm using today is from Nova Vapes it's grains custard I have done a review on this juice I'll stick a link up above if you want to go check that out so we'll just prime the coil up a little bit of juice around the edge uh, juice into the, each of the uh, wicking holes there uh, obviously, if I'm using, if I was using this coil for the first time, it'd be a bit more juice getting used here. But on this occasion, um, not much needed. So, uh, way I would normally put this together, just got to make sure the glass is on the chimney section properly. Uh, so there we go. Yep, that's on nice and firm. So it's ready to put the tank back together. Uh, so I'll screw the screw the coil back into the FC section, then screw the whole lot together. Uh, so. There we go, pop it on and screw it nice and tight. 
so everything nice and tight so we don't get any leakage so that's all fine and AFC closed and we'll just fill up with the juice just now so it's already juiced up so 4.7 mils with the bubble tank on so it's a nice healthy amount of juice because I've got to say these coils that I've had that came with this they're both guzzler coils so you do get through a lot of juice with these so there we go top cap back on and that will be the tank all ready to go So here's the device, we've got a side fire button, just one side is a button, not both. And you've got your up and down buttons, which are also the lights for when it lights up. And at the top, we've got a center located spring loaded 510 connector. Plenty of space up the top there, you probably fit a 30 millimeter atomizer with no problem. At the back, it's just a panel that shows us the name Avenger 720. And at the bottom, it's a click in uh, battery door there. Uh, Underneath the battery door, it shows you plus and minus. They're not very easy to see because it's black on black and there's nothing at the bottom to indicate. It could have done with having these plus and minus highlighted in a different color. But we'll just pop in the 2700s that came with the device. So make sure I've got them the right way up and pop them in and click it in. And that's it, nice and tight. There's no rattle, there's nothing like that. It fits snug and it was the same when I put in the 18650. So we'll just turn it off, five clicks off and five clicks back on and it pops up with the Avenger there and there was straight into the home screen. So it's three clicks to go into the menu system. So one, two, three. So you can see I'm having a little bit of difficulty here getting into the three button. That's probably because I've not got an atomizer attached at the minute. Uh, so the first option is power mode. So that's just your standard wattage mode. T is your temperature control, so you've got options for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel, memory one, memory two, and exit. Not going to go into temperature control today. Uh, next option that we've got along are the lights. So you've got choices on what color to have the lights. So we'll go up to the lights. So you can have red, green, blue, white, or multicolor. I tend to prefer the multicolor there. And you've got your sound options S1, S2, S3, S4. That's for when you're using the music lights option, which we'll get to when we do the voice controls. So once again, back into the menu. So uh, next option is your curves. So you've got normal, hard, soft, and user defined. Uh, so I've had a look at the user defined, had a little play with it, so you can see got all your different you can move them up and down to your positions uh these last for about a second then it moves on to the next one and it's the power button to move between and then plus to, plus and minus to change them and uh, it's the plus button to exit as well so we'll just come out of that go back in i'm just going to pop it back onto normal because that's my preference at the moment and the next option in the mem menu is your tcr mode now i don't use the tcr so we'll just take a look just to show it's there there we go, so that's your TCR mode, so it's not something that I would use, so we'll just exit that one. Okay, now the last option in the menu is the settings, so we'll take a look at the settings there. So in the settings, there are options to reset the puff counter, you've got your screen timeout, and you can turn the voice AI on and off. So. And finally, we'll take a quick look at the home screen. So you've got your wattage at your top, you've got your curves, you've got your puff counter, it tells you the voltage and it also tells you the resistance of the coil. You've got the design of the car there and the wheels are actually indicating your battery life. So when you've got a flat battery, you've got a flat tire and when you t you've also got the pulse that goes across it quite quickly. So we'll pop the Atti back on and we'll give a quick voice command to it before we jump up the top. So. First first off, hello iJoy. And auto power. There we go. And that has jumped it to the correct wattage for the coil, which is 60 watts. So we'll jump up top and we'll go through some of the voice commands. So before we go back over to the couch, I'm just gonna go through some of the voice command with you. Uh, so this has been a bit difficult for me some of the voice commands are not working and i do have the list here with me so that's just in the user manual you got the full list there to show you that uh properly so that's the list of voice commands i'm just going to go through these and show you what they all do so here's the device hello ijoy power high power high 
power high, power high, power high. So there we go, it's gone up. It goes up in 10 watt increments. We'll take it down. Power low. Hello, iJoy. Power low. There you go, it takes it back down. One of the features that I really do like on this is auto power. Auto power. Hello, iJoy. Auto power. There we go, and it's jumped straight down to 60 watts there. Uh, it works out the optimum wattage for your co for your coil, and it will set that for you on the auto power or the auto watt options. Uh, so we've then got, hello, iJoy. Light off. There you go, it's turned the lights off. Uh, hello, iJoy. Romantic lights. There we go, and it does this sort of fade between the colors there. And music lights. Music lights. Is that working? Yeah, that's done it. So you can see that it's now reacting to my voice. If I was playing music, it would react to the music. So that's all good for the for the lights. Uh, you've also got the Hello iJoy light off. Let's turn it off. And then you can also do turn on light. Hello iJoy, turn on light, there you go, that's the lights on again, uh, so we've got that, we've, I'm trying to think what else we've got, oh yeah, uh, so there's still, hello iJoy, lock device, lock device, this one always gives me trouble, hello iJoy, lock device, Lock device. Lock device. See, I've just gone through six seconds there and it hasn't picked it up. Hello, iJoy. Lock device. Lock device. Lock device. Lock device. Lock device. There we go, it's finally done it. So there you can see the little padlock symbol come up and I can't fire it. You can unlock this by three clicks or you can say, Hello iJoy, unlock device. Unlock device. There we go, so that's worked. Uh, so, lock device. Lock device. See, it doesn't like that one at all. Uh, that is the one that gives me the most trouble. So, hello iJoy. Lock device. Lock device. Lock device. Lock device. Lock device. There we go. So it's locked again. So look how many attempts that actually took me to lock the device there. So, one, two, three. And that unlocks the device as well. And then there's one last command that we've got here that we've not done uh, just checking that I've done everything yep uh, so hello iJoy shut down there we go that's it except it's not hello iJoy hello iJoy hello iJoy shut down but it doesn't actually shut it down, it just closes it off. So, yeah. Shut down just turns, a lot, turns it into standby. That's all it does. It doesn't actually power it off. So, yep. Yeah. So there we go. So that's it for all the speech recognition stuff. We're going to go back over to the couch and we'll have a chat about how it actually vapes and how good it is. So there we go, that's the Avenger. Uh, obviously you've seen there that I had a bit of trouble with the voice commands. Uh, that might be down to my accent, and probably is down to my accent. I've let a couple of my friends try it with the voice command as well, and they have just as much difficulty as I have, if not a lot more. Uh, it could be just down to the Scottish accent. A voice command does tend to have a lot of trouble with the accents. Uh, 
if we think back to the original versions of Siri and Alexa, they had a lot of trouble with the accents as well. Uh, there's a great little video that a uh, Scottish comedy duo put out a while ago about uh, two Scottish guys in a voice control lift trying to go to floor 11. Uh, I'll, if I can find it, I'll put a link in the description for that. If not, just have a search on YouTube for it. It is out there. It, it's a very funny little video. Uh, two guys in the lift trying to get to floor 11 through voice control. Very, very funny. Um, so that is a little bit of an issue with it, but nothing that's insurmountable. Uh, pros and cons on this device. So we'll start off with the pros and we'll start off with the tank. Uh, so the tank, really, really good sub on the tank. Really good airflow coming through it. Uh, those coils that you've got there, the mesh coil with the wood pulp and also the other coil that's got the wood pulp as well, both of them generate really good flavour, really good amount of cloud, good production. So I've got the mesh coil in here which is reading at 0 0.17 ohm at the minute. I'm running it at 65 watts. That's with the airflow about half open, that's just my preferred way. It's really, really flavoursome. Really, really airy vape as well, and plenty of production going on there. Nice little features that are on the home screen there. I do like this layout. You've got the pulse that goes across constantly. You see the voice, the lights are still on there. Uh, you can also see this line sort of across the bonnet of the car. That's for when you're vaping. That fills up, and next to the back wheel, you can actually see how much how long the vape was. And you can also see that I've used up a bit more of the battery life on this since doing this video. Uh, so really like the display it's a nice layout i like the color scheme on the device as well i obviously went for the purple because well purple and uh it's a really nice feeling device ergonomically it fits nicely in my hand like the fire button and uh it's really really nice to feel really heavy device though it is quite a heavy device but that's probably that's down to those batteries i have tried this with the 18650s in it through the sleeves uh, pretty much the first time I've tried it was on them. I didn't really notice any difference between using those and using this. I've not tried the higher wattage ranges because of the coils that I've been using on here. Uh, one of the features that I really, really, really like is the auto wattage option. So you screw in your Atti, you go Hello iJoy, go auto wattage, and it sets it to the, the optimum wattage for that coil. And it doesn't, it's not limited to just the iDroid tanks. I put a Big Baby Beast on here. I put an RDA on here. I tried it with different things. And it works with them all. So that's a really useful little feature. Nice to just set you up instantly for vaping away. And that's pretty much it for the pros. Really, really good device. Liking a lot of the features. But there are some cons. So cons wise, there are a few cons on this device. First off, the tank, uh, it's a guzzler. You're going to get through a lot of juice if you're using this tank. Uh, I have filled this three, four times if I'm using this in the course of a day, and that's at the 4.7 mil option. So it does get through a lot of juice. And uh, that's purely down to it being a sub-ohm tank. If you're using a sub-ohm, you're going to be getting through a lot of juice anyway. And the way this wicks and guzzles it is, especially on the mesh coil, the mesh coil really uses a lot of juice. Uh, cons on the device, well, it is heavy. It is a big, heavy device. Uh, not a problem for me, not really a con that I find personally, but it is a big device. And with those two 2700s in there, it is heavy. So... Uh, that can be a con to some people it's not really one for me uh, but it could be considered a con uh, the fire button it is hair trigger it's really really easy to make this fire uh, say you got it sitting on a table you got to pick it up and you're firing it you don't intend to but you're just firing it there yeah, just like that you pick it up and you fire it so that is a bit of a con there uh, the other con is within the voice control stuff. Uh, obviously, it was having difficulty picking up my voice there. Not the end of the world. But the big one is the lock device. Obviously, you've seen that I had a lot of trouble getting that option to work. Wouldn't be a problem if I could lock the device manually. There's no way to do that. The only way to lock this device is through the voice control. So if I can't lock the device with the voice control, I can't lock the device. So I end up turning it off. Uh, it's not the end of the world, five clicks turns off, five clicks turned on. You've seen how quickly it powers up. 
it's not really a long wait on that it's pretty much as long as a wait on locking any other device but to remove that option from anywhere else and just have it on the voice control is a bit of an oversight and it is a con uh, you've seen I had that was the one command I had the most trouble with so I'm trying to lock the device I'm out in the wind I'm out in public uh, I'm walking along going hello iJoy lock device lock device lock device and by the time I get it locked I want another vape so it doesn't it is a big con that one uh, but that's pretty much it on the con side of it uh, it is a really nice device I've got no problems with the paintwork nothing's chipped nothing's scratched it does pick up fingerprints quite a bit but that's because it's got this sort of metallic sheen to it and where it doesn't it's got the screen and the sort of plastic back panel bit as well so it does pick up the fingerprints pretty quickly uh, but that's not really too big of a downside you can just give it a quick wipe and it's fine uh, but that's it for the cons so overall what do I think of this device well I like it I do like this device it is a nice sub ohm setup and this is probably going to be my sub ohm setup for the next while uh, very very good loving the tank loving the mesh coil uh, the voice command I could take a leave I'm not too bothered about the voice command this device would be good without it but props to iJoy they've got the first device out there with voice command the lights feature the music lights where it's picking up your voice and going with it like it is just now absolutely brilliant first device to have something like that as well so props to iJoy for getting this out really really good de development and I'm looking forward to what comes next hopefully they do a firmware update for this which will include some more voice commands but whether that comes along whether whether the device has capacity for that we don't know uh, but so far so good on that and hopefully it's the beginning of something new uh, who do I think this is for well this is a really good sub ohm setup so for anyone who's looking for a sub ohm setup this is definitely in their uh, price points in the ballpark of other sub ohms uh, so I purchased this myself it was not sent to me but from iJoy I bought this uh, I'll put a link in the description for where I got this I paid 70 pounds for this uh, I did see an option for it for 50 pounds but you didn't get the batteries with it I do have other 2700s but I wanted to get the set 2700s with this it's really good to have a proper set of iJoy 2700s to go with the device and I saw 70 pounds with the batteries as a good deal so I went for that and that's what I've got like I say description link will be in the description for where I purchased it and you can go along and get one yourself uh, I like the colors that I got <laughs> so uh, who do so really this is a good device if I was given a mark out of 10 it would be an 8.59 out of 10 it's really high up there a couple of little niggles with it but nothing that I can't live with nothing that's not nothing that's going to really annoy me I do like the device I like the tank I like the flavors I'm getting off it it's really really good I've done a price up on the coils so you can get the standard sort of captain coils for about 10 pound for three but you can also get the mesh coils for the same price when I first got the device I couldn't find the mesh coils anywhere I couldn't find the uh, wood pulp coils anywhere they just didn't exist uh, or they weren't available anywhere in the UK but I've since found uh, mesh coils available and you can get a pack of three for about 10 12 pounds so they are available in the UK now which is really really good and uh, that price is comparable with pretty much any other sub ohm coil as well so that's really nothing to worry about price wise and the device itself is in the same sort of price range as any other brand new sub ohm tank sub ohm kit as well so price point is on uh, so this is a really good device for what it is uh, not knocking it in any way best device I've reviewed in a little while and it's definitely going to be in my arsenal for a time to come really like this tank it really produces really well especially with the mesh coil uh, so this is definitely a thumbs up from me liking this device a lot so that's going to wrap it up for the review of the Avenger 720 really really good devices really like this uh, and that's pretty much it so like comment share subscribe go follow me on the twitter that's the at one purple mongoose i've got an active patreon that will help me get in more devices for review and put them up for options for raffles so jump on over to patreon 
check out the video over there that explains it all www.patreon.com slash purple mongoose and I've also got a Facebook group uh, I've got a direct email if you want to get in contact with me all the all the links are in the description I've also got a second channel which is all about my weight loss journey which I'm on as well so check out that link in the description and as ever Vape on. Thank you.